I present to you the havoc of finishing an art project and unpacking at the same time, creating um, whatever this mess is and me having to clean it up the day before school starts again. Yeah, I made a mess. I think I did a great job though of making a mess. Not a great job of cleaning it up. I was too lazy and I was too distracted by watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina because, oh my god, this show is so good. I, I, it's amazing. It's amazing. Also, I realized something. I was on scrolling on Instagram and then someone was talking about how like the acronym for Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is chaos without the C, but it's like the same thing, like chaos, like, you know, like, the noun. And I was like, oh my god, that fits so perfectly. And I was, I think they probably did it on purpose, but I think it took me like two years to realize that that's what it actually meant. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself though. Kind of disappointed. As you can see, I'm doing a really good job of cleaning. <clears throat> and I'm actually washing. Oh, that's a scene. We're going to skip that. I remember during the entirety of this day, I was thinking how I don't want to go back to school and like start the tedious schedule of having to wake up, study in school, study homework, tests, outside of school stuff, and like return to this monotonous life of online zoom school and yeah <laughs> great mindset to go into school <laughs> oh i hate this so much when is life gonna be back to normal probably mm. <laughs> i'm just really using this opportunity to rant about how much i'm tired of school and how much I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm literally in my first, second week of my, no, first week? <gasps> I'm in my first week of second semester and I'm already done. I'm done, I'm done. Mm -mm, I don't wanna do it. I'm also going to quickly provide context to why I'm leaving and why my dog is leaving with me. My um, family needed to go somewhere, so I'm staying with my aunt for the last month, actually. It would be a month now, but at that time, I was still just coming to her house. <laughs> Welcome to Masha's cooking show where she fails miserably to try and make castello bread. I actually forgot the name of it, but it's like this Taiwanese soft bread that I turned into an omelette. I know, skill. It really does take skill to turn bread, put it in the oven, and for it to come out as an omelet. Um, really thought I was doing something here. <laughs> Reading the instructions didn't help me. I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Needless to say, I failed. Instead of half bread, half omelet, I made full omelet this time. Something that I noticed about like studying on online Zoom school is like you space out for like one second and you're like completely lost because it's like so hard to like know what's going on. And then also like usually when you space out in like regular school, you have the option of like looking over at a friend's paper. Not like cheating wise, I'm not, no, no, that's not what I was talking about. Like, you know, like to know where stuff is. But you're just like by yourself and you're like, oh my god, I'm so lost. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Basically me in physics 24-7. But it's okay. I'm my teacher tends to not tends to, my teacher does post my note the notes from the class, so if I get lost, that really helps. I also wish they recorded Zoom sessions which would be so helpful, so helpful if my school allowed us to record Zoom sessions because then I'd actually be able to watch it back and, you know, hear questions that I might have missed and... Ugh, why don't they do it? It's frustrating me. I used to like school so much. I loved studying and then like... Zoom school came and now it's just tedious and I like don't enjoy it. Mm, makes me sad. Lean, the least is the head. Lean. So, sit this is Yep. I can't. <laughs> I physically can't make this up. This <laughs> it's 11, and it's time for me to be productive. And by 11, I mean 11 at night. Here it is. Okay, this is kind of unrelated to the video, but I decided that I want to cut my hair short and I can't stop thinking about it. And I found these images on Pinterest, and oh my god god i want to do it so bad but at the same time i'm scared and at the same time i'm like never going to do that myself it's like i have to go get it done but everything's closed so now i can only think and dream about it oh my god i want to do it so bad probably without the bangs though because i can't do bangs i could do like curtain bangs oh my god i can't stop thinking about it
I've recently taken up doing yoga in the morning to wake myself up. Uh, I was doing uh, the Yoga with Adrian's 30 day challenge because I like to think, see things that like have a challenge and I'm like, oh my god, I'm competitive, I can do this. But it was really hard getting up because I only have time to do yoga in the morning. It was really hard getting up like at 7 a.m. and before school, like doing this. My doggy helped though, she was supportive. She just slept right next to me. She doesn't like to be alone for more than one second. So anywhere, she has to be with someone at all times. And so she trudges out of bed at seven in the morning with me to watch me do yoga. Sometimes she just lays there. Sometimes she likes to bother me. Doing yoga has like helped immensely with my posture and my back. And like on the first like three days I did it in a row, I already noticed that like my neck looked better because like usually my neck is really hunched over, but yoga has like fixed that immediately for me. So really glad I did that. Say hi. Hi. Although I've really only done this like two days in a row, I my goal is to do yoga in the morning and to do workout after towards the evening because then I get tired and I fall asleep more. Although this is the, filmed in the afternoon, but ignore that. I've done that twice, but I really liked how it felt, so I'm gonna try and do that more. But unfortunately hasn't really worked out. And now I invite you to enjoy this peaceful walk my family had instead of just me talking and see you next week.